Welcome back. I'm Tyler. You're watching Scarfing Scarves, and welcome to another edition of Frock Talk, where I go through every single dress, one dress at a time, and show you detail shots while rambling about nothing. Welcome! And my wonderful camera assistant, who will be assisting. <laughs> so help me God. <laughs> Do your job! My job? I don't get paid for this shit. You get paid in... Affection. <laughs> if by affection you mean abuse. <laughs> Creative affection. <laughs> Alright, so without further ado, this is one of the first dresses I ever bought new from Baby the Stars Shine Bright. That's right, I spent AP money on a BTSSB dress. Specifically, Kumia's Sweet Ice Cream. And this dress captured my attention the moment I saw these little bears at their little like ice cream. What is this? It's like a little ice cream cart. Look at that. I don't know if they're selling the ice cream or eating the ice cream, but that cart is next level. That is adorable and I love it. I love everything about this dress. It's got gorgeous little like sundaes. Look at that. There's a little, there's a little Usakumia sundae. That's adorable. And they're just eating little ice creams. And the wheels have BTSSB logos on them. Oh, every time I look at this dress, it just makes me happy. And I missed, I missed the first release of it. I, I slept on it because I'm an, I'm an AP whore and anything that's not AP doesn't matter to me. But Baby had a second release. And the moment I saw the pictures of it on Instagram, I lost my ever loving mind. And this may or may not have something to do with the fact that I lost, I lost on Ice Cream Parlor from AP twice and almost tore out my hair. It was the first bloodbath I'd ever lost completely, entirely, not knowing that there was going to be a secondary release, mind you, in my life. Because they were doing some kind of made to order or second re-release for like retro diner or retro whatever. It was retro garbage, okay? I wanted nothing to do with it. They did a second release for that, but at the time, no second release for ice cream parlor? Only the cutest, most adorable little bunny ice cream print I've ever seen in my life? What the fuck, AP? I hope they actually do come out with a print called Retro Garbage. I think that would be fun. <laughs> you know what? It would probably sell and Meta would be first in line. To get back to the actual dress I'm holding, Kumia's Sweet Ice Cream in yellow was my favorite colorway and obviously I had to get the normal waisted version because I like my boobs not around my neck. And I just love everything about it. Like, look at the little details. Look at this, like, dripping, like, bodice. Like, that's so cute. I love AP, but honestly, AP needs to step the fuck up or Baby is going, or baby is going to annihilate them, quite frankly. Little heart shapes on the, uh, on the lace there, I too. I didn't even see that. There's little hearts. It's got harps around the drips. It's pretty amazing. Like, throughout the print, there's just cute little, like, ice cream cone bears and bows and i think it spells out there's like letters for babies see there's like b's and there's a y and there's just they've just got so it's so dense there's so much going on like they're they seem to be sitting on some kind of ice cream sandwich or something here i don't know what's going on there it's a there's a lot going on there's cherries it says baby the stars shine bright i think along this border it does yeah i just it's, noticed that too and there's stripes and there's like hearts and stuff under that this print is incredibly dense and it's really really pretty and honestly uh i would like to see ap put in half as much effort right now because baby's kind of taking them out to the woodshed like this is pretty damn amazing and i like ice cream parlor obviously that second re-release saved my life but like this Honestly, they put a level of detail and quality into this release that kind of makes it look like small potatoes. And I feel like I have sinned against my favorite brand for even saying that, but Baby is really bringing it to the table right now. Like, this is pretty amazing. It's just gorgeous. Try to, like, look at all... It's got scallops. Damn, 100 points just for the scallops. I like scallop things. That's, like, my favorite... What would you call that? 
cut, cut trim. construction. I don't, know. Yeah, I don't know what you call it. It's it's my favorite non-print aspect of a dress. I just love scallops. I'm obsessed with it. Milky Planet has scallops. I've been obsessed with us. I've been obsessed with scallops mm, since. Milky Mil Planet has scallops. Batman has scallops. <sighs> you are robbing the air out of this room right now. Robin. Ugh. Anyway, before I murder the only person whose company I can keep during a worldwide plague, what was this thing called again? Kumya's sweet ice cream. <laughs> I need Kumya's sweet vodka right now. <laughs> God, Kumya's hard liquor. Just, just get a look at this dress and not my face for five seconds. I just realized that's a fucking waffle cone. Is, is Kumya blepping? I think Kumya might be blepping. I'm looking at Kumya sitting next to Umya, Usa Kumya or whatever the frack. I mean, do, the little... you, do you want to show the audience what you're talking about? I wasn't sure if you could see it from that side. Let me let me see. Let me find him again. I'm not really sure what the little bear is called right now. I'm pretty sure it's just Kumya. Because Usa Kumya is the rabbit bear. The species confused one that wears rabbit ears because they're uncomfortable with their body. Um, This one. This one right here. I think that's a blep. That's a tongue, right? It appears it, to be. Or is that supposed to be ice cream on their face? I think it's a blep. I'm going with blep. I'm not sure if I'm proud or ashamed that I know what blep means. <laughs> I have taught you well. Anyway, confirmed for blep. That makes this dress 100 <laughs> times better because there's a blepping teddy bear on it. And I'm here for it. I love it. I'm pretty sure it's just Kumya-chan. I'm pretty sure that's the name of the bear. I don't know. I'm an AP whore. Cut me some slack, all right? I don't know your weird little species-confused mascots, but I like them. I think they're cute. I actually bought... They're the little headband that has their heads on it because reasons. What does this say? This says, made for you. There's actually a little thing that says made for you on it. Where'd it go? Am I, now, now everyone thinks I'm high. I can't find it on this side. See, made for you. That's what it says right there. That was for you. How do you feel about this, cameraman? Please save me, because I'm sinking like the Titanic. I'll never let go. I would. <laughs> what are your feelings on this, cameraman? How do you feel about this dress? Do you have anything to add for the people at home who are tired of me rattling on? Um, I mean, all, all kidding aside, it actually is a very pretty print. Like, I've, I've seen you unbox almost all of these. I'd say this is probably in the top five, like, most impressive ones right out of the box. Damn, high praise from cameraman. It's all pretty, right. look at it. I honestly, I would, I would do it all again. I would buy this three times over. I wish the other colorways didn't have those really dark red stripes. I'll put one on the screen, because unlike these cute pink stripes, which kind of fade into the general print, the other ones have dark brown or red stripes, and it really draws the eye right to the stripes, and you almost miss the rest of the print. It's a little less cohesive and a little more jarring. So, Kumia Sweet Ice Cream, my favorite colorway by far, this yellow colorway right here, because it just blends. And it is a complete cluster frock. There is a frack ton of things going on right now. But I honestly was won over to the dark side. And by the dark side, I mean the brand that competes with AP the most <laughs> well so just so for people who might not know because i've honestly forgotten what is it that's so shitty about ap lately you've, you've talked about how ap's like off their game lately man i feel weird because <laughs> i always chastise people for talking about that right uh honestly like i feel like ap is relying a little too heavily on prints and a little too little on construction and when they do try to put in construction it's something like Chateau de Cum. It basically translated to Scum <laughs> Castle on one Google Translate, which I thought was the most accurate version. But it's supposed to be like some kind of sea mermaidy print. It's an Amaikira print. But honestly, like. You sure you kingdom? don't just hate anything that, that sounds French at this point? I have some PTSD. <laughs> if you guys have seen a certain Fuck Canada 2019 video. I have a little bit of PTSD every time I hear a French accent. I start hyperventilating. <laughs> I get a little violent. It's fine. Please, how do you feel when you hear a French accent? It's not just me. 
Oh, I just, I still remember the crickets, which was like my proudest moment ever. And I'm going to be telling that story when I'm on my deathbed. Tell them what happened, please. Oh, no. For do, people who ever, don't know. Well, just watch the 20, the Fuck Canada video. You tell the whole story better than I do. You're going to make them watch a whole video. Yeah, you know it's, it's, one, it's, it's like the best video. It's the one that I play the biggest part in. <laughs> I see. I see where your investment lies now. <laughs> That is, it's it's a horrible, awful, but fantastic video, and I do recommend you watch it if you like schadenfreude. Um, <laughs> but yes, AP Lately, when they have done a design piece, like Chateau, Chateau de... <laughs> that's, that's its name now, because honestly, it's ugly. Um, it doesn't hold a candle to pieces like this. Like, this is Marine Kingdom. I think it's, it's got also... a cool designed bodice. You have corset lacing, a detachable bow that you can put anywhere. And just this gorgeous, like, ruching. I think that's what it's called. And bows or pleating, whatever you want to call it. I'm not a seamstress, as you can tell. Couldn't sew my way out of a cardboard box. That's so not true. Okay, I can do basic shit, but, like... The stuff I do would horrify you, any real seamstress. You need to do a video about the fu- showing off the uh, the bows and shit that you've made this summer. I made these bows. See? They're on my head. Tilt your head down. I made them. I made all of them except I didn't make the poof balls. Those are by Flan Feet, by the way, You're if you want You're going to tell balls. me you can't sew or do shit like that? The kind of sewing that I do would horrify any actual professional, all right? I am not a professional by any means. I can attach pieces of fabric together and make them one. That's really That's my wheelhouse. That's literally the definition of sewing. Attaching <laughs> pieces of fabric together. It doesn't make you good at it, okay? I can do basic things, but if you were to take these apart, it would be a horror movie, all right? It'd be a horror flick. Mm-hmm. But back to the point at hand. Chateau de Fleur just doesn't hold it. What are you doing? <laughs> nothing, nothing. What are you doing? Keep talking. Chateau de Fuck doesn't hold a candle to Marine Kingdom, and it's got the same faceless mermaids on it, you know? And it's just the... The design is just not up to par, in my opinion. It looked like a giant moth fucked a fabric store. (laughs) And the end result, honestly, should be set on fire. The colors were bad, the cuts were bad, it makes you look like you have frilly chest hair. It's awful, okay? And it just doesn't hold a candle to this kind of design. So, like, AP... I liked Ice Cream Parlor, and I was obsessed with Ice Cream Parlor, obviously. But that cut is incredibly simple, and I was not willing to go on the secondhand market and spend $500 on it, because that's what it was running for. It was running between five and $600 on the secondhand market. And I took one look at that cut. Oh, that's the dress that I'm wearing. I'm like, what is this gap? It was bothering me. I was like, <laughs> it's the dress that's on my body right now. Which is? Um, this is Doll's Tea Party, I believe. And it was a special set that was only available at a tea party in Japan. And obviously I didn't go. And at the time on the secondhand market was selling for like $400. And I, I was so upset because when I initially saw the flyers for Doll's Tea Party, this is the color that I saw. And this was the only color that I wanted. Like I was obsessed with this color. I, I love these little little bear things. They're, they're Aren't they freaky? They're cute and they're creepy at the same time. I'll put like the name for them on screen because there's a name for this type of bear. And the AP shops all seem to have them. It's like a feature of their shop. But I think it's the first time they actually put one on a print. Is this a Kirio My print too? I feel like it is. I don't know. I could be wrong. I feel like it's a Kirio My print though. It looks like a Kirio My print. We'll find out. We'll put it. I'm a bad AP brand whore, okay? I see AP and I buy. That's that's the entire thought process. Until until now. Until you know. recently. Okay, I tried to buy Ice Cream Parlor. I did. I failed twice, okay? Well, hopefully someone from AP is watching. You hear this? Like get your get your shit together, guys. <laughs> get your shit together. Like if 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 Tyler Willis is 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 getting off of the AP bandwagon? You know you done fucked up. Uh, like, come on, guys. I can't say I'm, I can't say I'm completely off. I, I I'm hanging on by the bumper. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just desperately gripping the bumper, and one bad dip in the road, and I'm gone. Dragging your frilly dresses on the ground <laughs> in the I'm dirt. Just roll away. <laughs> yes, yes. Okay, I'm hanging on, but honestly, ice cream parlor. I looked at the fabric, I looked at the cut, that is not a $500 dress. It's for me, for me personally, and that's saying something because I paid secondhand market prices for Fantastic Carnival. I think this was one that I did pay $400 for, but when you look at it, and I know Frock Talk's getting a lot of frocks this time, 
when you look at it, the design is at least interesting. I mean, yeah, it's not the most, it's not the most detail, but the weight of the fabric is nice. The print is gorgeous. It's got these, these adorable little star buttons, a nice like satiny but thick bow, cute bow at the top, a nice little dangly, like it makes up for, it makes it worth it, essentially. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Because, like, even though it does have a relatively simple design, the overall fabric and drape and prints come together that makes it worth it to me to spend that kind of secondhand market money to get it. Like, I I fought some people for this thing, all right? It, it, was a, it was a mess. I missed a couple of times, and I finally got this. That was worth it to me. Ice Cream Parlor, as much as I'm obsessed with it, and as much as I am grateful that there was another release of it, thank fucking God, it wasn't worth 500 bucks to me. It just wasn't. And AP's been putting out a lot of dresses like that lately where it's a cute if, it's a cute enough print, but it's not $500 cute. And I, I will throw down some money if I really, really, really like something. Like, I'll start, I'll start looking for people to sell kidneys to. But Ice Cream Parlor, cute as it was, it needs, it needs a little something, all right? That, that boring little yoke, that's not $500 worth of yoke to me, all right? So, uh, we got way off topic. Where were we? Um, the 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 dress. Oh AP. yeah, the dress that's for, still uh, baby. Sorry, still has fracking tags on it because I haven't taken them off yet. Um, yeah, ice cream parlor, which actually doesn't live in this closet. Spoiler alert: there is um a new video background coming soon that I've been working on for a couple it's of weeks. Right in on quarantine. the other side of this wall, right here. You, you can't show them yet, though. It's a surprise. Not that they give two shits, but I give two shits, all right? This is the only thing keeping me sane through quarantine, is having this project to work on, okay? So we'll have a new place to film things, which is where this lives. And I want to put it up in here so bad right now, because that's what I usually do. But it doesn't live in here. It lives somewhere else with other dresses that you probably wouldn't see in here anyway, because I took them from the, the shadowy corners <laughs> where dresses go to die. Uh, I think that's all that can really be said about Kumia's sweet ice cream, an adorable baby print that made me part with AP money. Like, look at this shit. That's good shit. It's gorgeous. I love it. Honestly, I can't wait to wear this to places with people and things in 20 fucking 21 if our country if doesn't lucky, burn yeah, down. Jesus Christ. Oh my god. <sighs> Being an American is awesome when it comes to customs and sucks when it comes to everything else <laughs> healthcare jobs can you think of anything else that just sucks to be an american it's hard to think about things that don't suck right now honestly it's a long ask list. me again uh yeah and about yeah after november <laughs> or after january technically we totally are waiting. We're just waiting. Just waiting. Okay. Yeah, you hear that, uh, Laura and Holly, you folks up in Canada? We're not all fucking crazy and stupid, okay? okay. Only about 47%, okay? Is 47 too many? Yeah, it really is, but we've really you know, gotten way off topic. Oh, yeah. Things. Joy. Fake smiles. <laughs> this is where I put where my soul used to be. That creeped me out from the depths of my soul. But yes, <laughs> Kumia's Sweet Ice Cream, one more look. Let's have a look at it. Let's pretend that this was a happy-go-lucky episode and not a drive through hell. It's fine. It's fine. It's gonna be fine. Oh, one more thing before we go. Three. Count them, AP. Three. Buttonholes for adjustment. Three. Three, three, three. Not one. Not none. Three. AP, are you listening? What is that, like, sewed into the fucking JSK back? I don't even know what this part is called. Shit. <laughs> this is adjustable for people who are taller See? than three foot nothing. Fucking baby, like, stepping up the game. Like, come on, AP, get your shit together. Baby's whooping their ass, all right? Baby has come to the party, and baby is the party, okay? <laughs> Baby stars are shining bright right now, and AP looks like a nightlight that's about to go out. That's what's going Damn. on. Mm. I'm sorry. I'm mad. I'm mad, okay? Ice Cream Parlor had no business selling for $500 in the secondhand market, and yes, there was a re-release. I'll give them that. But they dropped it on us out of the fucking sky, and I was very, very lucky to know it was even going to happen. I'm still mad. We'll do another baby <laughs> dress next. 
another baby dress that made me spend AP money on it. Oh, it's, that's true. I know which one you're talking about. It's too. coming. It's coming soon. We'll just give them. Just yeah, look no, at this little thing. little uh, teaser. Yeah, little teaser thing. What's this? What do you think it is? You probably know what it is if you're even alive in the Lolita I'm community. I'm trying to get as little of it in the frame as possible. Good just job, like cameraman. It. Yeah. Who knows? We'll do it next time. We'll just welcome to you, trash talk. No, you should. We should do like the fucking. Uh, you know the 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 MCU after the credits sequence, which is like something so ridiculously cryptic, only like you know only the fucking neckbeards in the sitting in the theater get it. Well, this is something that only like the most hardcore Lolitas will get. So it needs to have a blah sound effect. Yeah. Blah. Inse- <laughs> What's the Lolita version of Inception? Like, how do you do that? Yeah, I don't know either. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I'm in Inception right now. (laughs) Idea for a future sketch, though. There you go. Ideas. Uh, So I guess that's about it. Thank you for watching Frog Talk in quarantine, where obviously all of us have lost our marbles and are incapable of functioning like normal human beings. And this has been Ice Cream... Not Ice Cream Parlor. Fuck me upside down and sideways. This has been Kumia's Sweet Ice Cream. I miss things and places so <laughs> that's, much. That's the next AP print along with retro garbage. <laughs> Fuck me upside down and sideways. <laughs> that's how I feel about every single AP print. Where is our teacup print, AP? Where? Where is it? Give me my teacups. Yeah, did not imagine this video would be a complete fucking like referendum on Just on Angelic Pretty. Like AP the, throw down. The, the, the brand you've been shamelessly shilling for oh. for... For years, but I guess they've been uh, slacking off. Gotta, gotta get their shit together. I only have so much forgiveness in my soul mm. for this petty bullshit. All right, AP, get your shit together. I love you. Okay, obviously I love you. I bought your fucking flowery egg clusterfuck twice. All right, that's how much <laughs> I love you. Get your shit together, baby. Stepping it up. Fucking curb stomping them is what they're doing. <laughs> anyway. This has been Tyler. You've been watching Scarfing Scarves. And tune in next time for more of this. Or not. I don't know. (laughs) Just turn it off. Assuming we're still alive by then. I'm leaving that in. Good.